Welcome to our short course on how to set up your PlayStation Thrustmaster T80 on a PlayStation 4. If you've got one of these, you'll know that there's no instructions included with it and it can be quite frustrating. There's a flashing light sometimes in the middle, as you can see now. There's a solid light other times. You don't know what the colors mean. If you plug it in by default into a PlayStation 4, nothing much will happen. So let's go over the uh, quick setup here. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the T80 out of the box, surprise, and I've plugged the, uh, steer, the pedals in. Uh, there's no need to show that because only a moron can't figure that out. It only goes in one way. Uh, plugs into the back here, so we'll skip that. Uh, so what you really want to know is how to get this thing working with uh, one of your games. So let me go over the three things you need to know. The first is that there's a PS3 and a PS4 switch right here. If you have it in the wrong setting, it won't work. So if you have it in a PS3 and you plug it into a PS4, nothing will happen. So change that, in my case, I've changed that to a PS4 because that's what I'm running. Uh, so that's the very first thing you do. Do that before you plug it in. The next thing you need to understand is uh, why the light would be flashing or why the light would be solid. And it's a pretty simple explanation. The T80 works in both gamepad mode and in racing wheel mode. Racing wheel mode is just more um, uh, granular. It's more specific. It works better with your games uh, if the game supports it, and many games don't. So, so the T80 works with Drive Club, it works with the uh, Crew, it works with Project Cars, and many others. But if you have one that doesn't uh, work with, specifically with uh, the T80, you can turn it into controller mode, and then it will act as if it's one of these. If it's in this mode, if it's in controller mode, you can set sensitivity. If it's in steering wheel mode, you can't. And whatever you set it in will be remembered. So after you unplug it, it will remember that setting when you plug it back in. So let's go through and show you that. So as I said, I've already got this on PS4 and it's plugged into a PS4. The next thing I'll show you is how to switch between controller mode and uh, racing wheel mode. It's pretty straightforward. What you do is you can see right now it's flashing. And if it's flashing, that means that it is in gamepad mode. So that means it's emulating, just to be clear, one of these. So if you're, I'm going to move it into racing wheel mode now. And you do that by unplugging the unit, holding the PS button, and plugging it back in. And that will change it from whatever mode it was to the alternate mode. So in this case, it'll go to solid. Isn't that pretty? So now it's solid, that's in racing wheel mode. And I can use it just as you would expect. In racing wheel mode, there is no sensitivity settings you can play with. So if you want it to um, uh, play on a game that doesn't support uh, this wheel, it's easy to do. What you need to do is, again, unplug it and change its mode. So you unplug it, press the PS button, and plug it back in. And if you do that, in this case, it should change. Well, it will change to flashing. And there it is. Isn't that nice? And there are three different sensitivities. So just let me be clear. Because it's flashing, we know that it is in controller mode. And again, so it's emulating one of these. If uh, it is in that mode, I can set the sensitivity. And the way you do that is to press and hold the D-pad and the uh, paddle controllers uh, at the same time. So let's just do that. And there are three different settings. Red is normal sensitivity. Orange is medium sensitivity, and green is high sensitivity. So let's just show you that. I'm going to push all three at the same time here. Click. And now it's red. So now it is in normal sensitivity. Again. Isn't that nice? Pretty straightforward. Okay, if you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca.